Guten Tag everybody and welcome to CNC Kitchen. In this video I'll show you why a filament oiler will ruin the mechanical strength of your PLA parts. Stay tuned! About a year ago I've seen a video from Barnacles where he was talking about how oiling the filament in his Ultimaker helped him getting rid of jams during printing. I actually wasn't sure what to think about it at that time because I was quite certain that the oil can't be good for the strength of your prints. About a week ago I uploaded a video about a clip-on filter for the original Prusa i3 Mark II which uses a piece of foam as a filter material. I received a comment with the question what I thought about adding a drop of oil to the foam. I don't actually think that oiling the filament with a direct extruder setup improves the quality of your prints. The path to the hot zone is very short and totally straight so there shouldn't be a lot of friction. Some people say that the oil will season the hot end and create a low friction surface finish on the inside. This might have been a thing in the beginning of FDM printing, where lots of the printed parts were machined in your own basement. Today's high quality print parts should actually not need that. On the other hand, if you have a Bowden setup on your printer like the Ultimaker or most Delta printers, then there is quite a lot of friction in the PTFE tube which is going to the hot end. I have already experienced on my own that with 3mm filament and a roll of PLA which is almost empty, it can become quite hard to push the material through the tube. In this case, the light film of oil might reduce the friction and therefore eliminate jams. Still, material strength is another question. Since I was curious, I tested exactly that out. In order to have a reference, I printed out four tensile test specimens out of Prusa's black PLA in vertical and horizontal orientation. The vertical specimens will tell us how the layer adhesion changes. The horizontal ones will show us if the material itself weakens. After this was finished, I put a little bit of very thin oil on the foam of my filter, mounted it back on my Prusa and printed out four more specimens with the exactly same file. Taking a closer look at the print bed showed that it was full of tiny little droplets of oil which came somewhere from the printer. The specimens looked mostly the same, only the surface finish of the old specimens were shiny instead of the matte surface finish of the reference parts. The next step was putting them into my tensile test machine one after another. If we take a look at the results, we see that there is only a slight influence in strength for the horizontal specimens, which can come from the normal scatter of the results. The specimens were able to bear around 120 kg or 260 pounds of load. The influence at the vertical specimens on the other hand is huge. The strength of this orientation, which represents the layer adhesion, is more than 60% lower. The reference specimens broke at 80 kg or 175 pounds of load. The oiled ones at only 30 kg or 65 pounds of load. This can be expected if the oil does not bond with the material and rather acts as a separation layer between the strands of filament. So yeah, we have proved that even though oiling the filament might be good for the quality of your print, it can be really bad for the strength of your parts. So the decision is now up to you, but I can really recommend this method. If you have jams and extrusion problems, try to fix it a different way. Maybe it's only the brand of your filament you're using. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, auf Wiedersehen and I'll see you next time.